Hey guys, it's Roxanne. I want to ask you a quick question regarding your attraction marketing formula and strategies. When I'm speaking about uh, active marketing and passive prospecting, um, do you understand the, the skill sets that are required and needed for them? And are you practicing both? Our top earners in any company have learned how to master the strategies, have learned the formula and the balance of active marketing and passive prospecting. So I just want to teach you a little bit about this today, uh, give you some tips and tricks, because uh, I know it has made a huge difference in my business. And that's what I love to do is having that care to share forward. So first of all, let's understand that your active marketing, those are your main income producing activities. And of course, the number one income producing activity is getting on the phone right? Always building your list, always finding ways to connect uh, with new people uh, on whatever social media platform that you're working with. You're dealing with prospective clients and teammates. Um, those can also go hand in hand, of course, with more of your massive um, energies and your actions, which is your boot camps, doing home parties or online parties and organizing those group events. You're always connecting and searching out people to talk to. So those are your active marketing. Passive prospecting, that is just, you know, your general happy Facebook posts uh, or, you know, whether you're on Google Plus or Pinterest, Snapchat, whatever special platform you love the most. Understanding you're just giving good uplifting content where you're hoping people will see something that they like and then stop in and visit and ask you questions. Some of those would, of course, also include curiosity posts, uh, results posts from other team members video marketing, uh, Facebook advertising or other paid advertising and you know connecting on those other social platforms. So understanding that the best marketers, the top earners have learned how to master both and um, there's some pros and cons, right? The con is when you're in passive is that you can get stuck in that learning mode because you're always just, you know, giving good information, um, you know, teaching some general ideas. You get stuck in the learning mode and you fall out of the active marketing and the active marketing is where the majority of your income income uh, producing activities are and your income comes from but understanding if you stay in massive action mode too long you can actually burn yourself out so you have to make sure that you're balancing that um, and it was actually my husband that taught me this he goes well you know when I'm at work on nine days Roxanne he says you can work hard like do everything you got to do for all the hours that I'm gone um, you know of course when he comes home I want to spend time with him so I step away from the keyboard step away from the phone and then on his five days off that's when I do my passive marketing that's when I catch up with my blogging that's when I catch up with my email newsletters and I send out those um, you know I catch up on my video marketing and get inspired with some ideas so he has actually helped me be very structured with my activities and it works out beautifully so think about how you could work this or within yourself I was thinking about that maybe you can work that around um, your holidays maybe you can work that around um, a family get-together or a wedding is like do a little bit of passive go home and you know crunch hard and do so a lot of active so those are my ideas for today I hope you found some value um, I'm gonna write up some bigger notes on this and go stick it on my blog so you can find me there please do so and um, I'd love to connect with you if you have any questions at all please ask that's what I'm here for is that caring to share forward and uh, hopefully I will see you on the sunny day uh, tomorrow you guys take care. Bye.